Some of you may not know, but there are stingrays in fresh water. There are probably 30 or so species of stingrays that live in fresh water. And three of those species are some of the world's largest freshwater fish. The first project that we had, it was on the species here, the giant freshwater stingray that's found in Southeast Asia. And so we worked with the recreational anglers to catch, tag, and release these fish to try to get information about their movement patterns. This is a video of us trying to catch one of these big fish so that we can get measurements and tag and release it. Around now. You can see it in the water, it's spinning around, it's trying to get out. That goes, okay, there's the tail, there's the tail, everyone's careful. No, no. We got it, we have it. Wow. Oh, there it is. We tie the barb to get a closer look. This could be the largest ray that I've ever seen. And it could be the biggest freshwater fish on Earth. So let's get a total length. It's 12 feet long, and now I really want to get a width. <laughs> Seven feet, two inches wide. This is the biggest freshwater stingray I've seen. So this ray is probably 400, maximum 500 pounds. As big as it is, I don't think it's a world record. Here it goes. There we go. <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. This is the second species of big freshwater ray. This is called a short tailed river ray. And we were down in Argentina trying to find this ray, and we know next to nothing about these fish. One of the reasons why we don't know very much, they're camouflaged, they hide in the mud, they're so big that fishermen down there, when they hook into one, they don't even try to land it. They, they can't even bring it up with the fishing gear that they use. So this is a species that's really in need of more study. And then the third species of giant ray occurs in northern Australia. And it could be the biggest of all the rays. There are stories of rays 10 feet in width. So that a ray in 10, 10 feet in width, it would probably be 20 feet long. And that species, I have a video of it here, was only described in 2008. This is the, the giant carp. So the giant carp, it's, it's now critically endangered. So there are very few of these carp left. And the only place I know that it's still caught is in Cambodia on the Tonle Sap River in the week basically before the full moon in November. And so you can imagine if you're trying to study or better understand one of these fish, and there's only one place at one time of year in the world where you can find it, it's, it's a huge challenge. And as you can probably guess, a lot of these fish are endangered. About 70% of them are at risk of extinction. This is a, a Chinese paddlefish found only in the Yangtze River. Uh, very unusual fish, long slender fish with a sword-like snout that could get 20 feet long. And to my knowledge, none of these fish have been seen in several years. So this could be the first one of these big fish that actually has disappeared. Uh, but my concern is that if we don't do something, it might not be the last. One thing I just want to emphasize, these fish, one thing they're not is they're not dangerous. That, that fish, it might look mean, but it's, it's not mean inside. <laughs> it's not mean inside. We've been swimming with pools and pools of 30 or 40 of these alligator gar, and they don't, they don't give you the time of day. 